key points for net preservation during total mesorectal excision demonstrated using the robotic approach. The enhanced three-dimensional magnification surgical view and a camera system operated by the surgeon plus the more adept instruments provided by the robotic platform can facilitate preservation of the pelvic autonomic nerves. Thus, favorable postoperative sexual and voiding functioning after rectal cancer surgery can be achieved. In this video, we highlight some features regarding to autonomic nerves and fascia's anatomy to be considered when performing a TME surgery in a male patient. Pelvic plexus is a mesh-like structure consisting of hypogastric nerves and pelvic splachnic nerves at the lateral pelvic wall. Numerous fine neurovascular bundles originate from the pelvic plexus and descend to the orogenital organ in the 2 and 10 o'clock directions. Enveloped by the rectal proper fascia, the mesorectum surrounds the rectum. The prehypogastric nerve fascia is placed between the rectal proper fascia and parietal presacral fascia based on histologic examination. This fascia is located on the dorsal side of the rectal proper fascia and covers the bilateral hypogastric nerves and pelvic plexus. At the level of the pelvic plexus, this fascia gets closer to the lateral extension of the denon Villiers fascia. The parietal presacral fascia is dorsal to the hypogastric nerves and ventral to the presacral venous plexus and pelvic splachnic nerves. This fascia meets with the prehypogastric nerve fascia at the pelvic plexus. We place the robotic trockers as it's shown in this image using the Da Vinci's XI system. We stress the distance between the trockers is between 6 to 8 centimeters. We usually place an extra trocker for the assistant in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen. Following the posterior aspect of the inferior mesenteric artery, the TME surgery starts from the posterior aspect of the rectum, dividing the innermost dissectable plane of this areolar space. This recording was accelerated 20 times with every cut included, so the traction and counter-traction maneuvers are enhanced. We recommend to focus on this aspect to take advantage of this video. If pelvic dissection proceeds along the prehypogastric nerve fascia, the hypogastric nerves may remain uninjured. The lateral dissection is alternated with anterolateral and posterolateral dissection. At these points on the lateral pelvic wall, the posterolateral mesorectum and the covering fascia seem to be densely adhered to the pelvic plexus. This attachment has been referred to as the lateral ligament. It may contain rectal branches from the pelvic plexus and the middle rectal artery in approximately 25% of the patients. Anterior dissection begins by incising the anterior peritoneal reflection and continues posterior to the seminal vesicles or the vagina. A sharp pelvic dissection with gentle traction of the mesorectum reveals some of the nerve branches from the pelvic plexus. Gradually, the aspects of the mesorectum merge into a cylindric shape. Pay attention to the constant traction and how the dissection is always performed close to the mesorectum. Deep posterior dissection reveals the presacral venous plexus covered with the parietal presacral fascia referred to as the Waldeyer's fascia, which fuses with the rectal proper fascia and covers the levator ani muscle at the level of the anorectal junction. Sharpening your sight, there are two recognizable yellow patterns that allow you to keep on the correct dissection plane, putting apart the nerve structures. In men, the non biliar's fascia is identified at the level of the seminal vesicles and in front of the rectum. Nerve fibers from the pelvic plexus pass inferior to the seminal vesicles to enter the bladder. Dissection that is anterior to the non biliar's fascia carries a high risk of nerve injury. During low pelvic dissection, the robotic system provides more convenient access to the level of the anal hiatus and precise dissection between the rectum and levator ani muscle. The accurate dissection surrounding the mesorectum circumferentially allows a complete mobilization of the most distal rectum from the levator ani. Anterolaterally, the rectal wall should be completely dissected from the U-shaped puborectalis and the levator ani muscle. The mesorectum tapers out at the puborectalis ling and only the rectal wall remains. The levator ani muscle is innervated by the levator ani and pudendal nerves. 
The levatorani nerve runs beneath the pelvic splachnic and hypogastric nerves and apparently is covered with parietal pelvic fascia and thus is vulnerable during the final step of the pelvic dissection between the rectum and levatorani muscle. Posterior dissection reveals the puborectalis muscle and the anococcygeal raph. Once the mesorectum is completely separated from the pelvic floor, it is sectioned with a linear stapler in an anterior to posterior direction. Robotic platform properties and a correct surgical technique may help with nerve preservation and therefore improve orogenital functional outcomes.